I was throwing one day for high school and I just felt a little pain uh, underneath my shoulder here. And we went to my orthopedic doctor that works up at Wright State. He suggested that if we wanted to, we could go see a spine specialist at Dayton Children's. We had an appointment, went up there, got my x-rays done, pulled up the x-ray and I had a 50 degree curve in my back. My biggest concern was just being able to play baseball again, like just period. Because the way that they were putting it was at the time, the only two options I had were getting the rods put in my back or this um, little device. I forget what the device was called, but um, either way, it just like in my mind at that time, it just, it didn't feel like I was ever gonna play baseball again. Carson came to see me after he'd seen another physician who diagnosed him with scoliosis. They came to me for an opinion, knowing that at UH Rainbow, we offer sort of all of the opportunities for scoliosis correction surgery, from fusion to vertebral body tethering to Apifix. My first impression of Dr. Lotzbecker was very good. I mean, instead of just trying to push one surgery towards me, he gave me all three options and he gave me what he thought was best. And then he suggested I even take a bone ray x-ray to see which surgeries I could even have. And then we kind of settle on the conclusion that day that the vertebrae tethering would be best for me. For Carson, uh, when we weighed these options, we sort of were talking tether versus fusion. Fusion would be probably have a little bit lower complication rate, a little bit less risk of operation, but certainly loss of more motion. Um, and the tether has a lot of growth, uh, some growth modulation abilities, but it also has the ability to allow him to continue to move. The real advantage of this procedure is that for athletes like Carson and young people that are still growing, they are able to still move better than they can with a fusion. Uh, and if they're still growing, we can use the power of the implant to actually correct further as they grow. All the doctors here just took such good care of me. And I just feel like everybody was just paying attention to me and they put as much effort into making my back as straight as possible. The help leading up, like all the appointments and all the care I received, um, Rainbow is just very good to me. Dr. Glotzbecker was amazing. He's four months out from surgery right now. He's back to full pitching and his mechanics look pretty normal. I asked him a bit about it. It's like, are your mechanics different? Does it feel different? He goes, you know, it feels a little bit different, but he feels like great. It's kind of hard to think about it now because I just, I feel fine. I feel like I used to. I'm kind of almost glad it happened to me because I felt like it helped me build character. I'm really glad that Dr. Glotzbeck was there to help me make my final decision on getting the tethering surgery. Best part about coming to Rainbow if you have scoliosis is that we can take care of any spinal condition in kids. And that goes from the six month old to the teenager. Uh, and it means that we also are have the latest technology as far as surgical techniques. We can do any procedure that's out there. Um, navigation, enabling technologies, all things that make us do it safer. Um, and so if you come to a site that can do all of these options and have all these options, we're able to deliver very patient-specific care that's in line with our goals and the patient's goals.